all right guys welcome to another news the plea state governor samuel lalong has disclosed details of the idea that resulted in the emergence of ashwa jubalame to Nambu as the presidential candidate of the all progressive congress and eventually the president elect of nigeria simon lalong who is a nigerian lawyer and politician is also the incumbent governor of Plato State. Lalong's professional career as an attorney lasted between 1992, the year, the year following his graduation from the law school, and 1998, the dawn of the Nigerian democracy. During this period, he worked as with a few law firms, one of which he co-owned. Between 1992 and 1994, he was the deputy scribe of the Nigerian Bar Association in Plato State. After a political site that lasted for seven years, he regained to legal practices as the principal of the Simon B. Lalong and Co. until 2015. In 1998, Simon Lalong temporarily discarded legal practices to pursue a political career representing the People's Democratic Party PDP, he successfully contested his native Shedam constituency and entered the Plateau State House of Assembly. In October 2000, he became the Speaker of the Assembly, occupying the position until 2006, following a political of evil within the House. The seven years which he served as a Speaker made him the longest serving Speaker of House, of House in the history of Plateau State. During that period, he was two times elected as the chairman of the conference or speaker of the 36th state of Nigeria. In the year 2015, as the second tenor of the serving governor of the two states, Junajang neared its end. Samuel Long joined the contest to Sussex Jand. This time, he did so on the All Progressive Congress political platform. He was sworn in as the new governor of Plateau State on May 29, 2015. In the March 9, 2019 Plateau gubernatorial election and March 23, 2019 Plateau State supplementary gubernatorial election, Lanlong won the election as government of Plateau State, having pulled 595,582 votes against his rival, General Jeremiah Ozeni. Of the People Democratic Party, who put 546,813 votes. He was re elected as the governor of Plateau State on May 29, 2019. In October 2020, a Nigerian National Honor of Commander of the Order of Niger was conferred on him by President Muhammadu Buhari. Recently, Lanlong disclosed that the Northern or Progressive Congress APC governors who promoted the return of power to the South did not set out particularly with Ashwa Jubala Metunobu in mind. Speaking on leadership and good governance at the 9th Annual Sir Amadu Belu Memorial Lecture in Lafia, Nasarawa State, Simon Lanlong disclosed that the governors set out to demand the return to power to the South because they believe in power rotation for the stability of Nigeria. He added that it was the APC delegate that chose Ashiwa Jubal Ahmed Tinubu during the party's presidential primaries and then Nigeria voted for him during the presidential election. According to Lanlong, who was the director general of Ashiwa Jubal Ahmed Tinubu's presidential campaign organization, the, governors, the governor asked the northern presidential aspirant to withdraw from the race for national interest, justice and fairness and not because of Ashiwa Jubal Ahmed Tinubu as a person. The Plato governor said they believed Sir Amadou Bello would have done the same thing in similar circumstances. He said, which I led my colleagues, the Northern State governors, to push for power shifts to the Southeast. It was not because we wanted Ashwa Jubala Metunubu to be president. Rather, we wanted to ensure that justice and fairness prevail in our nation for unity and peace and harmony. That is what we believe our Reverend Father of Blessed Memory would do in such circumstances. Fortunately, the party delegate chose Ashwajubala Ahmed Tunumbu, who was eventually accepted by Nigerians 
as he was unanimously elected. Samalalok added that the northern region needs serious attention in vital sectors ranging from security, education, infrastructure, agriculture, economic river, and restoration of law and order in various in various areas that have have been ravaged by insecurity. It is disheartening to note that the Northern Governorship Forum, under my leadership, has done a great deal of work on bringing our people together as one people with a common destiny. Taking a Nigerian comment, Esther Emmanuel said, Nonsense, man. Who are the Nigerians that voted for Ashwa Jubala Met Tinubu? Old liars that thunder will, thunder will fire. Thieves are at the corridor of power. Arujile said the northern governor did well. Gere said stop lying against Nigerians. It was Anek that voted for Ashwa Jubala Ahmed Tinubu, not Nigerians. Nigerians know who they voted for and God will still bring the person to the presidency. God is not the author of confusion. Shola Adiroju said who voted for him? Anek voted for Ashwa Jubala Ahmed Tinubu. Ezekai K. Uche said, Big liar, Lalong. You shall know you shall not know you shall know the truth and the truth will shall set you free. Tunumbu was prepared and had made all the money dub- dubiously for a day like this. He bought over the APC delegates with thousands of dollars. So also Yakubu of Anek, he bought over to even you and your life. They said politics is a game and Tilibu knows the game very well. I hold nothing against Tunubu, but I thought as a elder statement, he would remain the kingmaker considering his age. He has the interest of the masses at heart, but no, it's all for all of you selfish interests at the detriment of the masses. God will judge all of you. Kingsley said, that shows how insensitive you APC governors are. Osipa Joe is more competent and sound was sidelined because of the billions you fool collected from Ashwa Jubala Ahmed Tunubu. Christopher Koro said they used Gowon and dumped him. They used Danjuma and dumped him. They used Bamai and dumped him. They are using you and they will dump you. You are all slaves. That will be all for now. Please don't forget to let us know your thoughts and opinion via the comment section below. Don't also forget to like and subscribe to this YouTube channel as I will bring you more interesting news next time. Bye for now and I will see you on the next news.